Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Naomi and thanks so much for clicking to watch another video. So in today's video, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update about me brushing my locks. So the first time I heard about brushing your locks, I was like, huh? I was like brushing? I was like, why do I need to brush my locks? Because one, that's why I became a locked individual. <laughs> I do not want to manipulate, brush my hair, comb, part, None of that, right? None of that. So I'm like brushing my locks, like what is that? So fast forward to me putting these sprinkles in my hair. So that video, when I was doing the back row, kind of like the back four locks in my head, I noticed that I had lint in my locks, right? And I was like, no, no ma'am. So I was like pulling them like this. I had a mirror up close to me and I was looking at it because I was trying to like thread the, um, the sprinkle through. And I was like, wait, what is that? And then I started like picking at it it was lint and I was wearing so kind of rewind back to around Christmas time or pretty much in the month of December I was wearing this Sherpa jacket and it's like one I've got off Amazon if I can find a picture just so y'all can know what I'm talking about I'll like put it right here but it's a Sherpa jacket and it was brown and I had a bunch of lint in like I said that back row of locks that had just like so it's like it goes up to my collar so it was like right on the nape of my neck and of course my locks will go right on top of it so any type of turning twisting it was just rubbing on that jacket and I was like no <laughs> no so I found a whole bunch of lint from that jacket just brown like little fuzzy buzzies all into my locks and I was like how did I not notice this before I feel like I got in the same routine of just waking up spray my hair with rose water every so often I'll put some oil on my hair and massage it in and go wake up spray it with rose water go wash my hair dry it spray it with rose water retwist it go so it was just a simple like a standard routine that I had that I didn't even really look at my individual locks if that makes sense so that really made me like as I was putting the sprinkles in my head that made me go through and just kind of like nitpick and see like okay let me see if I have lint in this one let me see if I have lint in this one so I got kind of paranoid to say the least so fast forward again until last week so last Sunday I looked up some videos on how to get rid of lint and of course I saw a bunch of videos on doing ACV rinses it was a whole bunch of stuff and I was like I'm not really trying to do all that <laughs> like and you it was just on the bottom row and then a little bit here and there like I found a couple of locks on this side like two locks on this side and then like three locks on this side or something that actually had lint in them so what I did was I took a um, tweezer just a pair of tweezers and I was able to get the lint out of the locks up here the ones in the back were a little bit more stubborn because it looked like they had been there for longer. And I was just like, dang, how did I not notice lint in my locks? So I came across this one video and I forgot if I find the video, I can link it down below. But um, she was like, I used um, a, like a Denman, not a Denman brush. It was like a wave brush. I'll show it to you guys. It is this brush right here. This brush right here, y'all. And I got this from Walmart. So this is how it looks. It says... It says Evolve on it. It's the Evolve number 575 brush. So it looks like that. And it's not too hard at all. It's honestly the, the brush that men use to like <laughs> brush their hair for when they have waves. So she had this brush, brush and she used it to literally brush her hair. And she said she brushes her hair every day right after she moisturizes and she'll take like a row at a time. Her locks were a little bit smaller than mine and she had more. So she kind of just like took a section, brushed it, and then took another section, brushed it. And then when she got to the front, she brushed, brushed, brushed the top, brushed her edges and she was done. And it took her literally like all of like two seconds to do. So I was like, okay, let me try to do this. Let me revisit the idea of brushing my locks. And so that's why we're here today. I wanted to just share my experience with you guys in this past week. So I haven't moisturized my hair today yet. So I was gonna do that with you guys on camera. So I'm just taking my rose water and glycerin mix. No, I've gotten a lot of comments too that um, like, where is this bottle at? So this is just the sticker from the original packaging. So you can see it's kind of like peeling off right here, but this is just the sticker. And this is just so I know what's in this bottle. <laughs> so this bottle, I got it off Amazon. And again, if I can find it, I'll try to link it down below. And then the rose water and glycerin, I also got it from Amazon. So I'm just gonna shake this up and spray this in my hair. This is the same routine that I do every morning. I always spray my hair with rose water every single morning. And I just, I'm just kind of like lifting up my locks just to make sure that it's like penetrating the entire lock and then my scalp as well. 
So I'm doing it all over my head. I just love the way rose water smells. It smells so good. Okay. And then once I do that, I just kind of like lightly massage it through my hair just to make sure it gets all in there. Just like that. Okay. So now this is what I've been doing. So again, every morning I spray it with rose water. And then I've also been going in with this brush. So what I'll do is after that's all in, I usually start in the back. I don't really do it um, in any particular order, but I do start in the back. <laughs> so I start in the back and I'm just kind of, I'll turn around for you guys. I'm just kind of lifting the rest of my hair up and I'm starting on that back row. And I literally just brush it like this, brush it down, just similar to how you would brush your loose natural hair. So I'm just brushing it, brushing it, and I'm making sure to try to get the entire length of the lock as well. I'm not doing it hard, like I'm not like going like that and then like dragging it down. I'm just lightly brushing them. And then I'll go in and go to the next row. And I'm not like filling in any particular order. Like I said, I'm just kind of like, pulling down some locks and then brushing it from there. And then I go into the next row and I brush it. Just like that. And then so on. So then I'll just keep going up through my head and brushing my locks all the way down. And I would say the benefit, like I said, I've been doing this for about a week now, so it hasn't been an extreme amount of time, but I would say the benefit I see from this is less frizziness. Like that was the immediate benefit. So my hair, my hair has gotten less frizzy over time. Of course, when I was like, I would say like a couple months in or something like that, I, well, yeah, I was about a couple months in. That's when I my hair was the most frizziest. But now the frizz has definitely died down. But I feel like it died down even more from me brushing my locks. So I was just like, okay, you know. And I don't mind frizz. Mind you, I, I really don't mind. I'm not going anywhere. So I really don't care. I don't want to say I don't care how my hair looks. But I don't care about my locks looking neat all the time, if that makes sense. So I feel like, like I said, the immediate um visual change that I could see from me combing or brushing my locks was less frizziness so and I feel like it's been stimulating my hair too like after doing this even though I'm not actually brushing my scalp directly I don't know I just feel like it's stimulating my hair in some type of way so like I said when I get to the front I'm just I just kind of brush this side down sometimes I'll like go in between these and like lift them and again, I'm just brushing, brushing, I'll go a little bit slower. So I'm brushing the entire length. And since I have sprinkles in my hair, I haven't experienced any um, of them falling out from this either. Like I said, I'm not doing it really rough. So I can go all the way down the length of my hair without having to worry about them falling out. So, and then I'll ha I have like a little side part <laughs> going on right here. So I'll usually just brush my little side part. And then after that, I'll try to get my edges just like that. Again, I don't care about my edges. I don't wear edge control. So I just get my edges like that, just to kind of lay them down so they're not looking like no beady beads, especially since my retwist is like over with. And then I'll do the same thing for this side. Brush up my edges and then I'm kind of going between here and brush them as well. I remember one day, I want to say like the third or fourth day of me doing this. So um, not too long ago, I saw some lint come out on the brush and I was like, <sighs> like I was so shook. I was like, what? Which made me also think I was like, wait, why didn't I start brushing my locks, my locks sooner? And I think it's because of like the way it sounds. I'm like, why am I brushing my locks? But I would actually highly recommend like if you're experiencing ex extreme um, frizziness or any like lint that you want to try to get rid of earlier, definitely the earlier, the better, just so it won't get like deep down and stuck and matted into your locks. I would definitely recommend brushing them. So yeah, I just want to come on here and show you guys how I've been doing that for the past week. And I will continue to do that because again, I'm seeing some benefits from my hair. So nothing has happened. My locks haven't fallen out. 
like nothing crazy like that. So yeah, I just want to come on and show you guys how those are looking. And then once I'm done brushing them, I'm done for the day. So this is how I look all day, every day, sitting right down my computer working. So that is exactly how they look. I'll come up a little bit closer so y'all can see. No damage or nothing at all. So yeah. So I want some feedback from y'all. If y'all have been brushing y'all locks like your entire journey or have brushed your locks in the past at any point, let me know how that's been going for you. Let me know some of the benefits that you've been having from brushing your locks. And then if you have never heard of brushing your locks like me until last week, then let me know that too. If you're interested in brushing your locks or anything that you've heard about brushing your locks in general, I would love to hear it because like I said, it's just been a week, about a week for me. So I would love to hear any feedback that you guys have. That is all I have for you guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching another video. I do wanna say that I am trying to be more active on Instagram this year. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know I've been posting. I have a schedule and everything. So if you guys want to see more from me in between my uploads on YouTube, then just go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I have my little handle right there. I am very much so more active on Instagram. I pretty much post on there every day, either a story or an actual post. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. And if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.